Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to Farm Delight underscore TV. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to gather and prepare your feed for your livestock. But before then, I'll take this opportunity to thank our wonderful subscribers and the viewers for always supporting this channel. All that I'll say is may God bless you for always supporting us. Yes, as the topic we are going to discuss about how to gather or this is the time to gather your feed for your livestock. That's why we are here today to discuss. Yeah, it's time to start plant, get some cassava sticks, some plantain, some corn, and then we need to start what? Planting them. This is the time to start the planting. So let's say your land, if you have just an acre of land, you can take maybe one plot. And the one plot, you do a mixed farming. You can grow your cassava, and then underneath you put your, your maize there, and then you get some small plantain somewhere. And through this, within the next six months or a year, you have enough, enough to feed your heart your livestock because if you're able to gather all these things then it means you can start prepare hot your silage by using hot your molasses using the molasses so that you can preserve your feed for the next year the year ahead of us so guys if you come across this channel today's topic is what this is the time for us to start planting the feed that we are going to use for our animals for the next year. So get yourself some corn, some cassava sticks. Also, some plantain. And then if you have some soya, you can do it. Anything, anything that you think you can use to prepare your silage. Make sure this is the time to gather them. Gather enough. You need to gather enough for the next year. If you're able to grow about, let's say, 100 by 100 feet of cassava and then you put underneath a corn, that will be a, a lot. It will save you a lot of cash. It will save you a lot of money. And then, let's say, if you have about 10, or 15 plantain that will also be a good boost so with this all that you need is maybe you buy some soya bean or palm kernel cake and other shares or such or other things to support so as you can see at least the little that you can plant make sure you do it for yourself and then the one that you think you don't have access to then you buy so that the feeding you are going to save maybe about 50 percent of the cost you are going to save them so guys if you come across this channel today once again all that we are saying is what we need to start planting the feed we need to start planting the feed that we are going to use for our animals for the next year for the next year as you have discussed in previous videos the silage all that you need to do is what get yourself some what molasses get some molasses with this molasses you can get yourself some grass some cassava leaves plantain all these things anything that you think the animals eat gather them gather them and start what you need to store them and the one that we can grow, we need to start growing them. Plant them. And then 
we use it so the one that we need to buy maybe the fish meal or the oyster shell um palm kernel cake then we buy those ones and bring it instead of buying everything because the farming is what good business livestock is a business it's a business and as a business person always you need to think about what the profit the profit margin need to be more than the cost your profit need to be what more than your cost so that you can have enough to expand and as you have said farm delight underscore our main content and priority is what farming that's livestock and then investment because we can't talk about what doing the farming and then we don't know how to what, invest that's why we say that farming and then investment so at this time we will talk about as you are planting them it means the little that you as you will save let's say if you will spend 100 to buy the feed and you are able to use 50 to buy it means you have 50 to buy your stock you have 50 remaining to invest in the life in, in the hot the stock market so as you can see always we need to let the two move together the farming and then the stock market you need to move together you need to be smart so always we may have what cash reserve we need to have cash reserve so that we can expand our heart the business that we are doing the business that we are doing because business and then investment business and then investment and then the farming is what the business that we are doing as you can see the farming that's the business that we are doing because we are investing in the animals and they are going to give us what the offspring they are going to give birth to us other you are doing the poultry the eggs or the the goat the sheep those guys giving birth that's the one that we will get to sell and as the profit is coming then we are hot investing some into the stock market yeah we need to save some and then invest them into the stock market so this is the time to gather as much as feed that we can we need to gather as much feed as we can because when you talk about the livestock the main cost and the main thing is what the feeding if you're able to provide the feed for them then you'll be a successful farmer and also if you can have what the one that you are not going to buy need to exceed the one that you will, you will buy so that you know that maybe if you are going to spend 100 to buy the feed and you are able to save 50 then you know that you are on, on track yes we need to change the narrative about the farming the one that our grandparents were doing we need to change the narrative we need to change the narrative to make it what attractive we need to make it attractive to everyone that's why we have take, taken it upon ourselves to teach and talk about the little knowledge that we know or we have about so guys once again get some cassava steaks get some corn get some plantain stockers and start planting them this is the time this is the time that we need to plant that's the season to start planting them to plant them so that by the next six to a year that will be the harvest time for us to get enough to save for the next year so that next year we are not going to buy we are not going to spend too much on the feeding because the one that we may spend or we need to spend should be hot the fish meal the oyster palm kernel cake as i've repeated a couple of times so let's gather enough because it's raining the grass are coming up as you can see start cutting them start cutting them we need to start cutting the grass that is what popping up and then as you can see at my back all green so you know that your land 
that's how it's supposed to be so start cutting them you can cut them every two weeks or every month at least the next three months ahead of us we will have enough we have enough what to do our silage we are going to have enough to do our silage so farm delight underscore tv once again we take the opportunity to thank our faithful subscribers and the viewers for supporting us always for supporting us always your advice sharing our videos to others we say may god bless you keep watching our videos keep on watching our videos so farm delight underscore tv this is your man charles bento coming to you once again all that i will say today is what do us a favor by sharing our video like it and subscribe for us we need more subscribers to come and join the family so that they need to learn to learn from the little that we are sharing here and also invest they need to invest so we need to share the videos for them to get and come and join us by learning the little that we are teaching here once again this is your man charles bento may god bless you bye